graph the following y equals tan x and y equals tan 2x, tan being tangent. In our first graph, when we graph the tangent curve on a calculator, we will notice that there are a lot of asymptotes. The reason the asymptotes are there is because tangent is sine over cosine. And whenever cosine is zero, we have a denominator in a fraction that is zero, which means the fraction is undefined. When those values are at pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, negative pi over 2, and negative 3 pi over 2, those are the values where the cosine is 0, and therefore are asymptotes for the tangent curve. To get the curve itself, we simply plug in values around the unit circle, and we get the following points. The tangent at 0 is 0, because the slope of tangent at 0 is 0. The tangent of pi over 4 is 1. The tangent of negative pi over 4 is negative 1. If I were to continue, I would get the rest of the points in the single branch centered around the origin. The other branches are simply going to exist after plugging in the values around the unit circle and then having the asymptotes where they need to be when cosine is 0. So we may notice that the period for tangent is just pi. Since the graphs go on to positive infinity and negative infinity, there is no amplitude for tangent. Now comparing the tangent curve with the tangent 2x curve, we see the following. In the same interval, the number of asymptotes has doubled, and the interval for period changed from pi to pi over 2. So if we were to find the values that we needed as with the tangent curve, we would find them, and the cosine values would be twice as many between negative pi and pi.